got Jaron Johnson with us today. Thanks for being here, Jaron. Thanks for having me. Jaron is the front man for the band Cadillac 3, yeah. and also a hit songwriter. He wrote uh, You Gonna Fly and Southern Girl. So, Jaron, why don't you just start by telling us a little bit about You Gonna Fly, how that came about. Um, man, I, I had this little vi uh, vibey room in my house, and uh, I kind of had a loop going, and I wrote this, you know, that... In the open tuning, and I, I liked it, and I was going to use it for our, our band, but I was like, well, this is kind of, this would work really well in the uh, modern country thing, whatever, so... I had that Blackbird and all that thing kind of going, and the mm -hmm. two guys came over and wrote it with me, and they started rapping over the, the front, front part of it, and I was like, man, that's pretty cool, let's put some melody to it, and uh, it turned out to a situation where Keith heard it for the first time and was just like, I love that riff, I love the dirtiness, because the drums had this really terrible sound, but terrible cool, you know what Yeah, I mean? right. Uh, but yeah, man, I don't, I, you know, it, it was cool, it, it came out all right. That's great. And so Keith Urban plays it in standard uh, e-tuning, yeah. and you obviously are playing in a different one. Why don't you tell us about what you're playing in? Yeah, I, lately, man, I've kind of done the just open D all the way. Um, I, I, I didn't, never had any guitar lessons when I was a kid. I kind of just uh, winged it and would listen to, you know, Silverchair songs or Nirvana yeah, or right. whatever was on the radio, Smashing Pumpkins, and, and I would kind of figure it out by ear and then, you know, kind of go. And so lately I've been doing that with, you know, the open D tuning and it's it's been kind of fun uh, just because that's a chord. Right? It gives yeah. it that nice it's rich tone. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful chord. I didn't, do it. I didn't even need this hand for it. No hands. Call uh, it one-handed chord. Yeah, yeah, one-handed chord. But it's, so I, I've been writing that quite a bit at the time and uh, that's, that's why I play it there. And I, you know, when I saw Keith doing it, you had to explain to me what he was doing earlier. Yeah, I, I had no idea. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, his like you said, like, his solo on that thing's pretty serious. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, we got a lot of guitar players on the site, obviously that subscribe, and uh, a lot of them, you know, have aspirations of being in the music business, maybe playing guitar one day for somebody. Uh, what, what advice would you have for somebody that's maybe just starting out and trying to play the guitar? I, I think the the main thing as far as being successful in it is not trying to sound like somebody else like take from whoever you listen to whoever you love take the certain things but don't try to make the whole thing their thing make it your thing and I think that's why people have kind of gravitated towards the way that I, pl I play guitar sometimes it's like in my band the Cadillac 3 it's a very messy hope I get it right maybe I'll land on a note that makes sense yeah right you know what I mean like you know people <laughs> like Neil Young play yeah like right that messy terrible Absolutely, yeah. but, but tasty solos mm -hmm. Um, but I don't just play like Neil Young all the time. I play like myself, and right. I think that the, the whole idea is just make your guitar playing noticeable and different in your your own style. Because mm -hmm. it's always been that, that way for me with really messy guitar players, and so I kind of made mm -hmm. it my own style. Yeah. That's great advice. Well, cool. Well, thanks so much for coming down, Jaren. It's great to meet you, and uh, and thanks for taking the time with us. Guitar cheers, sir. <laughs> <laughs>